Hi everybody, thanks for coming today. I am Jamie Jurgensen, I'm the library director. Uh, we're so happy to have a summer unveiling for you of this sculpture. And uh, we are gonna have a few people speak and then we'll hear from Nancy herself, but I'm going to introduce Anne Howley, who is a trustee of the Wellesley Free Library first. Anne, come on up. It's kind of hard to beat that, and, um, but I'll be quick. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the library trustees, I want to thank everyone for coming and welcome, welcome you to a really extraordinary event. How many times on a Saturday can we go and see a magnificent unveiling from a world famous sculptor? Doesn't happen to me too often, and I suspect probably not to most of you either. The trustees are pleased to have supported this project. We wish to thank all of those who took an idea and moved it from the idea to a concept, working with Nancy to come up with what you will see is a truly spectacular uh, sculpture. And I would also like to thank many of the, uh, to thank the donors, many of whom are here, as well as our supporting organizations, the Wellesley Free Library Foundation and the Friends of the Wellesley Free Libraries for their support. It was this support that actually made the idea come to reality. And it also is a wonderful representation of the support we get from our community, which enables the library to have so many enhancements, which make us a truly star library. And I would also be remiss if I didn't say thank you to Nancy. We all know and we love your ducks, but our library and our community is most fortunate to have a piece of your work to call our very own. As our patrons walk by Reach for Knowledge each time, they will be reminded not only of the value of knowledge, but that the library, ours and others, is the place to help satisfy that need. So thank you all for coming, and now, in our race here, I'm gonna ask Barbara Marks, who is the chair, of, she's immediate past president, sorry, of the Friends of the Wellesley Free Library, to take the next step. Thank you. He indicates the next speaker, apparently. <laughs> so on behalf of the friends, I'm delighted to be here to celebrate. This is an extraordinary event in the library's history. Uh, most of you, I think, are familiar with the friends, and well, you should be, because we've been in existence for 70 years. We were established in 1951, and we are an independent, 100% volunteer organization, and we work in partnership with Jamie and her staff and the library trustees. The library has come to depend on the Friends for funding for programming. Each year, the Friends um, sp sponsor hundreds, literally hundreds of programs. Um, the library over the past years has come a long way and so has the Friends. Interestingly, in 1905, the Wellesley Free Library had 12,000 books. Last weekend at the Friends book sale, we offered close to 10,000 books to our patrons, which is pretty unbelievable. We are thrilled to have contributed to whatever this is. <laughs> the Friends have been a vital part of the library in history, and with this, we cement our relationship, and I guess that makes us friends forever. <laughs> My pleasure to introduce Keith, who's the president of the foundation. Thanks, Barbara. Um, I'm Keith Higgins. I'm president of the Wellesley Free Library Foundation. For those of you who don't know, the foundation was established by the trustees in 2008 to serve as a private fundraising vehicle to provide private funds that could enhance the services that the library already provides. Uh, in 2013, we took over the stewardship of the Centennial Funds. The Centennial Funds had been established by a group of very civic-minded and very philanthropic Wellesley residents back in the 1980s to provide a stable source of funding for the Wellesley Free Library to, again, enhance the materials that the library provides. 
over the years, uh, both investments and prudent management has been good to the fund, and that those funds today generate a significant annual contribution to the materials that the library is able to provide, and we as well as the residents benefit uh, from that. The foundation also provides fundraising in other ways. We have an annual appeal, we have major gifts, and we have a biennial gala that is uh, ever, ever popular. And just last spring, we kicked off a springtime event, Books in Bloom, which was very popular, held here in our library. And I think everybody who attended uh, thought it was terrific. So um, that's a little bit about the, the foundation. Um, as with all that the foundation does, these contributions supplement what the library does. So as our saying goes, we can take what we love and make it better. So this sculpture project uh, was sort of a unique collaboration among the trustees, uh, the foundation, and a very dedicated and very persistent supporter of the library. <laughs> I don't know if anybody here has ever said no to Gig Babson, but um, it, uh, I don't see any hands. And in any event, uh, Gig and the trustees agreed on the concept. They commissioned Nancy to do the sculpture. The foundation provided the fundraising infrastructure and the legal infrastructure to commission a work of public art. And it all came together. It was a work of collaboration uh, that was uh, really uh, beyond uh, anybody's expectations. The foundation also provided financial support to the sculpture, as did the Friends, and many other donors in the community, who some of whom I saw are here today. So we thank everybody for what we've done. It really was unique. We'd never done anything like this before. But boy, I'm sure glad we did. I think when this is unveiled, I think we'll all realize what a great, um, what a great effort it was, and it's exactly the kind of thing that private fundraising should be doing. It's the kind of enhancement that makes our library just that much more special, and uh, we're, we're delighted to be a part of it. In any event, thanks for coming today. It's my great pleasure uh, to introduce uh, someone about whom it can be truly said, if it weren't for her, we wouldn't be here today. So I'd like to introduce the world-famous sculptor, Nancy Schoen. Is it okay if I sit? Absolutely. I'll be better off. <laughs> I may not trip. I probably don't need my cheat sheet, but I'm going to use it. Um, so it's really exciting to be here, and it's been a long journey, as many of you know. But I was introduced to this by Janie. Where are you? I can't right see here. in the sun yeah. where you are. Right up there. <laughs> Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> so Jamie said something that really intrigued me, and I, I use this quote. Art is natural, is a natural extension of and enhances the library's mission. That just went to my heart and somehow, uh, well, it just it went to my heart. <laughs> Um, but I want to thank all the various people who have helped. And of course, it's the foundation, the friends, the trustees, and all the uh, many donors that I don't even know, you individual donors. But I think you don't really realize what goes into um, a public art. For example, there is no sculpture um, shop that you can go to. It's not like you can go to the supermarket and pick up things. So I have to go to the plumbing store, the clay store, the hardware store, the lumber company, and so many other stores to get all the need, the supplies that I need for my tools. So I have to thank these people. And then there were the architects who put together this site, and the lighting people, and the grounds people. <laughs> <laughs> and the town sh uh, staff, the people who put this in, the masons, the, all the people who came from the town, uh, there were all these groups that talked about it and were um, finding out about it and sort of supporting it. So it was a, the whole town was really, I have to thank the town. It's not only everybody here, but I, of course, you are the basic people I thank. Anyway, it, there's so much more. Um, I 
and then there was me. <laughs> and so I had to put together the design and sort of orchestrate what was going on with the various groups. And as you understand now, there were lots and lots of them. Um, and so once that happened, I had to call the foundry. And the foundry man was going to come and he was going to cast it in bones. So this was really exciting because here I am in my studio. I've just finished this clay model. It's right, the right size. I know it's going to go in the right place. We've done all these nice things about it. So he comes in and he starts to cutting up the arms. First he takes the legs, then he takes the arms, then he takes the heads, and he takes all these pieces and puts them in his truck. And I'm going, well, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, behind all this are these wonderful, wonderful uh, people who are the skilled, skillful people who turn this magic into what you will see. But while we're here, there are certain things that happened for me. My family's always very, very supportive. They were also my best critics, and I depend on them for all sorts of things. Now, my Susie, who is here, I don't know here she, where she is. <laughs> Susie was very important because sometimes we design something that isn't really um, very, it, it's not easy to deal with. And when you see the sculpture, you understand that there are two figures that are close enough together, so it was really hard for me to get it to be between them, and I really suffered through that. So anyway, she did it, and she, and she, and she got in there between them, and she also put in all of the flat clay on the bottom. So I really have to say that she was very much a part of it, and I want to give her a good round of applause. <laughs> I, I, there are some other grandchildren here who also deserve some of their input, I have to say. But now I want you to say, I want, we are going to take this tarp off, and I want you to figure out whether they did their magic these wonderful people at the foundry. So, who's going to do it? Let's do it. Charlie, help. Oh, yeah, come on up. Come on, Charlie. Ready, Charlie? Let's do it. Well, we just want to thank everybody for coming, and um, I hope you have a chance to take a look at the sculpture, engage with the sculpture, and connect with the sculpture. And again, thank you to all the donors, all the people who made it happen, and, and mostly thank you to Nancy for, for making this for us. Thank you.